Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are back at Earth today, and on the launch pad. Uh, it's been about 175 days since we uh, left the crew of the Artemis safely tucked in their uh, Mars orbital station, uh, Harmonia. And uh, we are at a Jupiter window, which means it's time to launch our flyby to Pluto mission that will obviously be decades and decades long, but the window to get our slingshot off Jupiter is here, so um, we're going to take our best shot at this. It's my first time intending to get a gravity assist to do something, so uh, we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> uh, trying all the things that I've never done before. Uh, so anyway, uh, SAS is on, throttle is set to full, the rocket is fully fueled, our relative inclination is down to about 0.26 degrees with the moon, so that is acceptable. Ignition sequence start. We are lit. Let's get those clamps off. Alright, wow, we are going. Uh, this mission may have been a lot lighter than I anticipated. Just making sure that nothing's wrong. We're not short a bunch of fuel or something is missing. Like my mech jeb tab, I had to add things up here to toolbar, which I really don't like doing because it takes up more space on the screen. So, a lot of interesting bugs and glitches today. But uh, we have another DN series rocket. Uh, I think this is the DN2. Uh, I'm not sure. This might be a 1A, actually. I know this is the A upper stage. It's uh, too small to have the J2 or the HG3 upper stage. This is the updated variant. Uh, we've got two HG3 uh, C levels down at the bottom. And I should have started my gravity turn a long time ago. Look at me go. I am on point today. All right. So uh, we're going to work through these clouds and finish getting this uh, little guy into orbit. And I will pick all of you up there. It is nice to fly a good and reliable and proven launch system that uh, just kind of sails. Um, not quite as easy to fly as the RA-9 series, but uh, I've probably complained about that across so many episodes now that it's becoming a little cliché. So anyway, uh, I think we are actually way under our tonnage. I know we are way under our tonnage, actually, um, based on the uh, flight characteristics this is exhibiting. There's booster sep, and it will throttle back up on the uh, HG-3s, and uh, that was me coughing. So I am also going to struggle to try to uh, reinstate my uh, flight data window that I rely on entirely too heavily, but only after some of the logistics are taken care of, fairing set at the appropriate altitude. And it is now that I realize that I have lobbed way, way too high. So we're gonna, we're gonna shoot a little low and just uh, try to make sure that we can walk the wire as far as not deorbiting ourselves or falling back down too closely. And uh, if you want to know what dogs barking sounds like in sped up footage, there it is. <laughs> so our, our antenna is uh, targeting Earth. Our RCS system is, uh, the arms are deployed. Uh, everything's shaping up pretty good. Um, we actually could have gone up by probably another four or five tons uh, on this uh, probe itself without uh, endangering the mission any, but uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, where I'm at and where this mission stands. So again, just uh, preserving our angle to keep our time to apoapsis uh, well in check. I would like to not fall back down to earth entirely too much, but uh, I did forget to lock all these fuel tanks. So we'll just uh, we'll go ahead and take care of that real quick. I, I usually disable the shroud on the engine just because it looks weird. As you can tell, that looks really weird there. Oh well. No big deal. But uh, anyway, we're coming up on Miko, so I will turn you back over to old me. Alright, uh, we have main engine shut down at 308 by 248. Uh, we are... Uh, well, we still got lots of fuel in our core stage. <laughs> Almost a kilometer per second, actually. Um, however, I do believe the sea level engines will not let me click on them. There we go. Yeah, ignition's remaining zero. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, ditch that stage out. We activate our RCS and pull ourselves super gracefully. Yeah, I should probably start including some retro firing rockets on the, uh, the A series upper stage. All right, and so why are... Oh, there's a little core tank in here, isn't there? Wow, that used a lot of fuel very quickly. Or that tank is very small. 
anyway so now we've got the uh, this part is what we're going to hope to send to fly by Pluto and all of this is responsible of getting it there typical right all right so we will uh, bounce out to our map view set Jupiter as target yeah we don't need rendezvous uh, mech job you're killing me smalls so configure visible buttons again uh, do 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 Maneuver planner. Add that one to our growing list of man plan. <laughs> uh, whoa. Create node. Ah, 6,300 meters per second. That's well below budget. Let's, uh, how long away is it though? Ah, 41 minutes. Not bad. It's also not an encounter. Go figure. Alright, so we're going to tinker with this node just a bit. Yeah, wow. That's a lot of almost encounters. We'll run with something similar to this and uh, let's jump over here to Jupiter Focus View. Mm hmm. So that should accelerate us, and we won't know how much, at least until we leave Earth's SOI. So we'll uh, leave it up to that to make our uh, plane changes and such. So let's just uh, try to get ourselves, we can put you away, angled into this node. Yeah. It's Estimated burn time is only 2 minutes 52 seconds to display 6.3 kilometers per second. We have 6.9 in the tank. That should take almost 8 minutes. I think these engines are rated for 8 minutes. Man, I really hope they're... Right. Now, <laughs> this is an upper stage we have not tinkered with other than changing the engine layout. So I'm sure it's fine. I should not worry about these things, especially uh, this far into the flight. Oh, you know, I could have just hit this button, right? Nope, that button's not going to do anything for me at all. Huh. It's very, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Kind of want to wonder what else over there is not working, but I'd like to get this mission underway first. All right, so now time warping around. Let's get to some place where I can reliably see what we're talking about here as far as our time frame is concerned. I don't believe for a second that three minute burn time. We're going to start burning about four minutes out. Maybe a little less, three and a half perhaps. Nope, and we're three minutes almost exactly. All right, let's start to, uh, I should probably stage in. Very stable. Ignition. Our all four RL-10s are lit, so we are underway on our way to hopefully uh, see the most distant, um, man, <laughs> I, I still, I really want to say planet because I'm old school and Pluto was a planet for most of my life. And there goes our core stage. Thanks so much, little guy. We appreciate it. most uh, distant dwarf planet in our solar system that we know of so far <laughs> that are loaded into this game all these qualifiers alright so yeah this is now saying estimated burn time of 12 minutes also entirely not true Mechjeb's telling us uh, 6.5 kilometers per second in 7 minutes the, the discrepancy here just kills me <laughs> We're going to try to burn off some of this thruster fuel. Uh, we may keep our uh, A upper stage just for a while, but uh, we're probably going to warp through this burn, so I will pick you guys up in just a few minutes.
And other than the slight mishap with timing, the uh, A upper stage performs uh, incredibly well. Um, I don't want to jinx it, so I didn't mention it at the time, but I'm actually a little worried we're due for an engine failure soon. Um, either on the E1As or on one of these RL10s. But uh, I haven't been using the RL10s nearly as much as of late, um, with most of our heavier cargoes being shipped to Mars, uh, utilizing the HG3 or the J2. I think uh, the J2 has been effectively phased out. Its only real advantage is its uh, three ignitions over the HG3's two ignitions. But um, we are actually a, uh, have just unlocked uh, closed cycle Hydrolox engines. And you know what that means, RS25s. So we're going to get into uh, redesigning some things. Um, we might repurpose the HG3 as a strictly upper stage engine, except in cases when we need that third ignition. And uh, you can tell this burn went pretty smoothly because I'm not talking about things that happened or things that went on. There's our camera change there. Uh, just going to try to burn through some of this uh, RCS fuel. Um, you know, it's just taking up weight. Why not? But uh, the plan as it sits at this current moment is to keep the uh, upper stage attached and try to make a correction burn with it later. I will also uh, refuel some of that uh, spent RCS from our... Uh, transfer stage or even though it's doing absolutely none of the transferring maybe we should just call it the corrective stage uh, yeah we're coming up at the end of the burn so uh, here's old me all right well we are within 4.8 meters per second uh, we've got about 400 meters per second left in the tanks and uh, it's quite bouncy I think this is our actual telemetry. Maybe, because uh, the game cannot decide if we are actually going to hit the largest gravity well in the solar system or not. That's fine. Like I said, we're going to make a correction uh, after we leave Earth's SOI anyway to adjust for the inclination here of Pluto, which is massive. But uh, based on this, we will have to get a fairly substantial uh, inclination change. Looks like we're going to have to come underneath Pluto and slingshot upwards. And, oh hey, Kentucky Kev is almost to Neptune, which is uh, making its... Uh, at, it's at the point in its orbit where it is closest to Pluto's orbit, which is also fairly on the inside of its orbit also. So I think we're getting a pretty solid win as far as when these windows happen, so that we can uh, make this slingshot hopefully effectively. And, oh, the DOS P1, one of our first Jupiter flybys, is uh, almost across Pluto's orbit. Oh, man, if that had been aligned, we could have very easily corrected. He, that is, like, on the plane, practically. If only it had been, you know, like, 150 years earlier, Pluto would be over here. <laughs> anyway, oh, that's interesting texture mapping. Very interesting indeed. Alright, how is our power and energy is being uh, drained? Let's see how that looks in time warp. Still quite a significant drain. So we really, really need to ditch this uh, upper stage as fast as we can. That is a lot of drain. We do not have any solar panels on this mission for reasons that should be pretty obvious. Wow. Goodbye, Earth. It's alright, Pluto One. You have quite a task to accomplish. And though it will be many, many years, we all wish you good luck. So, uh, about a day. How much... Wow, that battery is going fast. I don't know if we can uh, afford to do this. We're not even halfway there yet. Our battery is mostly gone. Ah, oh, bummer. Alright. Uh, I hate to do this, but we gotta get rid of that A upper stage. Uh, this core down here is just murdering our batteries. 
but I do wonder. Come on. Oh, you do not have any electric charge on board. I need to get to the other core. No, no. <laughs> oh, so convenient, all of it. It really is. Uh, I was able to click on you earlier. No, we're gonna we're gonna play the you can't click on me game. That is fantastic. All right, I wanted to transfer electric charge into this thing to see about pushing it back or maybe slamming it into something, but not gonna happen. We gotta get rid of it. So decouple, and we are charging. Oh yeah, we should probably unlock an, a fuel tank here and use our RCS system to pull us away. That'd be a pretty good idea. Okay, good. Batteries are charging. We have this uh, SRB on here that I thought I would need for the kick to Jupiter. Uh, turns out I was so incredibly wrong. We did amazingly well. And that, that's just a pretty shot. So anyway, we're going to get to these course corrections and all of these other things for this mission in future episodes. I feel I've kept you here long enough. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out, everybody. I really do appreciate it. And I will see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.